Watching this video of Kiana Holland, 2013 prospect, ESPN Hoop Girls has her number 22 in the country, uh, from Seneca, South Carolina, playing with the Georgia Hoop Stars Black Elite team here. You see her make that nice pass. You know, one of the things that Holland does so well is finds ways to get her teammates involved, but also is deadly on the offensive end with her jumper, as you can see right there in that freeze frame. Gets that basketball out. It comes out quick and it's consistent. You know, when she has any kind of space at all, even if it's a, a half step with the defender playing off, she's tough. As you can see her, she'll rebound to the basketball. She'll get in the mix. Once again, there's that pitch ahead like we talked about. Knocks down free throws at a high clip. Definitely a mid to high 80s percent shooter right now, which is going to be great. You know, she's already committed to play at Duke. Uh, originally was an Ohio State commit and has changed that. And we'll be going to Duke. It's only about three and a half hours from home. Bright kid academically. Fits the profile of a kid who gets it done at Duke. As you can see her get to the rim there. Has some juice and some wiggle to be able to create space. Has really done a great job since we've known her, you know, staff-wise over the past three years, of working on our entire game. Being able to use that left hand. Being able to get into that mid-range. Not have to take the ball all the way to the rim. And be able to score. You see her here catch. Finish it with both hands around the rim. She really makes a lot of tough shots at a lot of angles. She's going to be able to be a combination guard there in Durham. Be able to play both on the ball and off the ball, as you see her right here. Nice left-handed pass. You notice she's a right-handed shooter, but comes down the floor, makes that left-handed pitch so smooth, so easy. Now, most kids can do that with their strong hand, but not with their off hand. She changes direction now, makes that same pass again there to an open Brown and Williams for the three. She just does a great job of both setting her teammates up skill set-wise and then using that explosiveness when need be to get to the rim like she did just there. Quick crossover, kind of lower to sleep. Counter change of direction, and before you know it, there she is with the score. Comes back with the steal once again. Another good pass to a teammate. And so really unselfish. You'll see her weave in and out of possessions. She'll take a couple of possessions to facilitate, and then she'll take a couple of possessions to score and let you know that she's around. Uh, you know, I don't know that there's a, a comparison, so to speak, that comes to mind right away, but I do know that in terms of that next level, her ability to make those counters to defend has good quick hands on the other end, always going to be in the right position. Once again, we talked about our academic standing. You know, is in a position where Stanford was recruiting or some of the top academic institutions in the country, including Duke, you know, were uh, on Holland's radar. So definitely not a slouch in the classroom, translates right over to the, the court. And with her ability to make shots, you know, we talk a lot in the lab. Jonathan Hemingway is actually here with me right now, our assistant director of scout. And we talk a lot about the ability to make shots as we watch this NCAA tournament. Holland's going to provide the Blue Devils with that kind of scoring option when she gets to Durham in the fall of 2013.